てその来日公演の模様をお届けしたいと思いますどうぞさあ MTV ロックス今日はですね東京ベイ NK ホールの方に来ていましてなんとグリーンデーのメンバーと一緒にお届けしていきたいと思いますあ、まあ、今回ですねまた来日公演ということで非常に盛り上がっているんですけれども、まあ、彼らに会うのはフジロックの,あのキャンセルになって以来なんですけれどもね何気に何回も日本に来てるんで、まあ、何回目ぐらいかなと思うんですけども So、um, it's since Fuji Rock the last time we met、um, How many, but you guys have been to Japan quite a lot, right? So, how many? It's our third, third time, actually. Third time?、Yeah. Okay. So, that's like、um, after you, re- you released Insomniac, and then you came for Fuji Rock, and then. And then now, and then, and then now yeah.、Mm-hmm. Okay. So,、um, wh- what's your impression about Japan? We love it here. Yeah? Yeah. What makes it so special? Good dancers. Good dancers. <laughs> good food.、Uh-huh. We like the nightlife, we like、mm-hmm. the boogie. Okay. Lots of、oh, good, good, go good, good toys.、Yeah. <laughs> good toys. Good,、yeah. bowling. good bowling. All right. Did you bring your air guns this time? Yes, we did. All right. <laughs> You'll find out on the way out. All right. How many people do you shoot so far?、Uh, we, don't shoot, we don't shoot people anymore. We just shoot. Most, mostly Sam I am, the opening band. Oh, okay. Cool. The only reason we're shooting people before is because they were in shitty bands.、So. <laughs> Now there's no shitty bands around. Okay. <laughs> Now we only shoot good bands. Yeah. <laughs>
yeah. Okay, so um, and you released um your latest album last um, the end of last year in October. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Nimrod and now you're you're on tour with yeah. the album, and I thought the approach was quite different from the other two albums that you released before. You, you did a lot of strings arrangements, mm -hmm. horn arrangements, and that I saw credit for David Campbell, who's yeah. backstep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. How how did this all happen? We just yeah. got in our small garage and wrote a lot of like songs. Mm -hmm. You know, um, same thing we always do. Only difference is we just wrote a lot more songs mm -hmm. and really, you know. You know, Billy wasn't limiting his songwriting, and none of us were limiting any ideas we had in our heads for anything. Um, you know, they're they're written to be, you know, simple, good rock and roll, punk rock and roll songs. Mm -hmm. And if yeah. it's appropriate, put it there. You know. Mm -hmm. Well, um, so what about the strings arrangement? And um, how did you um, how did this happen to that you guys started working with David Campbell? I um, yeah. thought we'd go right to the source. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Rob Cavallo yeah. had worked with him in the past, uh -huh. um, our producer, so, and he suggested him, and we said, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I don't know, could have been anybody, really, but he ended up being great, and uh, we had, yeah, good experience. Okay. Yeah, even though you had some different sound approaches, you still have the same yeah. producer. It's interesting to yeah. see, like, a, a, you know, a, like a full orchestra playing, like, your crappy song, you know. So <laughs> it's pretty cool. Well, yeah. So, but you still have the same producer since Dookie, and um, so how did um, you actually in the beginning start working with him? How did this happen? With Rob? Yeah. Um, we met them through met him through um, people of our past, and um, and uh, we we ended up uh, working with them. And uh, he he knew a lot. He knew a lot of uh, the technical aspects of the studio. Mm. And we thought, boy, we could really teach this guy a lot. Okay. And uh, he's learned a lot, and so we, we keep him around. All right. Yeah. He's a great guitar tuner. Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> so is he here in Japan with you guys? No. No. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. And then a little bit back to um, David Campbell. Um, he did most strings arrangements and horn arrangements, but um, did you guys first think like... He didn't um, do horn, um, horn arrangements. No? Um, strings arrangement? No, it's Gaben. Steve did Gabe, Yeah, Gabe and Steve from, oh, okay. from No Doubt. From no Doubt. They, they improvised. We, they came in for, for one day and, and a night, and we just said, you're in the band. Go. All right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so um, I was wondering, so did you have this idea when you wrote the songs already? Did you, like, hear the um, strings going or horns yeah, you, going? Yeah, you can hear it. I mean, yeah. if, it's a, if it's appropriate or meant to be there, you can hear it. Mm -hmm. You can try anything you want. The thing is, you just, you know, you... If it sucks, it doesn't go on the record, and if it if it rocks, it makes the record. Mm -hmm. well, um, Tokyo Bay, NK Hall, it's quite a huge place this time, mm -hmm. and um, but you guys are well known for like um, trying to keep the ticket prices low as possible, so the kids can come more easily. We just put it, out a, yeah. a price that we think that we're worth what right. we're, we're worth seeing. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, I mean, it could change in the future. We don't really know. You know, it's just uh, mm -hmm. depending on uh, where we're at at that time. And, you know, so who knows? Mm -hmm. You know, we don't really pay attention to it as much as people think that we do. Mm -hmm. so. yeah. Did you uh, did ever have, like, an experience, like, um, you wanted to go to a show, but you didn't re really didn't have the money to go like that when you were a kid yourself? Um, no, because if I wanted to go to the show and it cost a lot of money, we'll if in. it meant enough to me, I made it happen. All right. You know, and that's I think that's how big shows get filled. Mm -hmm. You know, if it means enough to you, you make it happen. Right. Um, you know, and I think, yeah, it's great. I mean, well, there was one kid, I met a kid on tour, and he was like, man, you know, it cost 15 bucks to see you this time, you know, and I saw you for five bucks four times before. What's going on? And I said, well, don't you think you got enough of a deal? <laughs> yeah. It's about time you pay me back. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Funny, Your popularity in Japan is really increasing, really, it's growing, People growing. Are really yeah. Great to us. Yeah. yeah. You got a lot of big fans out there, so. You know, well, well. try and return it by coming back mm -hmm. and, and playing good shows. Oh. Yeah, we'd like to come back for this record. All right. Yeah. yeah.
Um, so you basically, you guys basically do only standing places, like no seated chair. No, except like that, for right? in the back. No, no. You know, yeah, in like, the back. Yeah, yeah but yeah, we're afraid the chairs will all land on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> we're not a type of band where people sit down. No. Uh, yeah. Would you feel uncomfortable if everybody was sitting in a chair? I think the audience would feel uncomfortable, and I yeah, think they'd end up ripping the seats out. <laughs> yeah. you know, it actually, it's happened yeah. before in the past. Yeah. When we were on the Lollapalooza tour. The, um, that they were amphitheaters, mm -hmm. and so they were they were seated, and they, they were people were handing out rows of twelve chairs connected together, mm -hmm. you know, like whole rows of chairs were being handed over the top of the crowd, because they had been ripped out. <laughs> Very it's cool. Like, when you come to a Green Day show, it's like you got to set all the, the you know the rigid boundaries of your life aside and just have fun, and we, we don't think that having a small numbered seat where you exist for a certain amount of time is is much freedom, you know. Leave your sausage at the door. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. <laughs> so, um, so you guys um, having a good time in Japan right now? There's, um, you, you know, the amusement. You have Disneyland right here. Yeah. So the place. Yeah. We got two of those. We're too yeah. busy. We're not allowed to go to Disneyland yet. Uh, not yet. Mm -hmm. You think you might? Get I'm afraid some time? of Mickey Mouse anyway. Oh yeah. Yeah, he freaks what, me out. What makes him, makes you freak you out? I, I mean, don't know, what man. Makes, it's the voice. The voice. I don't know. Mickey. Or yeah, the high tone. Well, I, 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 I. Okay. Oh. <laughs> it's the ears, man. I don't know. Yeah. It's the way he looks at me. Uh -huh. Do you have the t well, um, last year, unfortunately, the, um, the second day of Fuji Rock was canceled. You guys were able, but um, you took your time and um, gave us some. Um, you took some time, let me interview you guys, and that was very kind of you. Oh, cool. um, but I hear like um, rumors it might happen this year too. Fuji Rock. Do you think um, you guys might be able to come over? Do it. Uh, we'd love to come. Yeah, I'd come love to come and back and play. It. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it was disappointing for everybody, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, a lot of people got really sick and stuff at mm -hmm. the show. What can I say? I mean, we were really glad that we got to play a small show the night before mm -hmm. for 300 people. Yeah, yeah. Um, that that made the point. I mean, made the show. I mean, made the trip just a little more, a little more successful mm -hmm. for that reason. But. I mean, it was it was a downer for everybody, you know. Okay. 
I think it's a good opportunity. Like Japanese bands get to play perform with bands like you guys, which yeah. usually doesn't happen mm -hmm. too often. And um, so, do you, are you familiar with the Japanese music scene, kind of? Um, High standard. Yeah. You know, we we played with them our, our last tour. We were out here. Um, yeah, we don't get to see a lot of Japanese bands while we're out here. Yeah. And it's you know, a, it, we're really busy all the time. It's hard to see. It's, a, yeah. it's hard. To, it's hard. It's hard for us to see American bands when we're in the states. You know. Right. Yeah. So. Um, do you have like a, um, any image of like Japanese bands? What what the kind of scene Japanese music scene is going? The Roosters, man. Yeah. I think a lot of it's very rock and roll based. I mean. Totally. I think I think uh, we were discussing it yesterday, and uh, Billy brought up the point of the fact that punk rock has probably always been popular in, in Japan. Mm -hmm. And it, it seems to have always been understood here, and I just think that uh, you know, I don't know what direction music is going here, but I think uh, rock and roll is here to stay. Mm -hmm. To be cliche, yeah. you know. Right. Yeah. Well, you just mentioned how high standard. Like they go to the states also to perform mm -hmm. on their own. Um, what do you think about like? Do you think there's any chance for like a Japanese band like High Standard to? make its way somehow in the States. I think they're already making their way in the States pretty yeah. well. A lot of people know who they are and seem to like them pretty good, so. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, you know, there's anything's possible. Mm -hmm. I mean. music together um, basically you just jam like five days a week seven days a week <laughs> get together Three, five and, days yeah. a week you know um, we Eight just, days a week. we're pretty we're pretty diligent about Eight. practicing you know and playing and I, I mean just just playing together we like we like to do what we do and we don't really take breaks right. you know we, we kind of work hard to do you know to keep to play good Mike music and write good tunes mm -hmm. but uh, but we enjoy what we do mm -hmm. So, well, um, well, when was the first time that you actually like um, thought of picking up some instruments and doing some rock music like that? My whole life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Hey, wanna, uh, I came out of my mama, and I yeah. went rock. <laughs> <laughs> so I you were heavy metal at that time. I went, <laughs> <laughs> you came out of my mama and said, "Came." <laughs> 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 Yeah. I said, oh, and time to go. And on Trey's mama. Mm -hmm. what, um, what kind of um, artists were your favorite musicians at that time? Oh, when I was a little kid? Yeah. Fisher Price? ACDC. ACDC? <laughs> you know, Van Halen, when I was a little, when I was a little kid, mm -hmm. you know. Um, what do you think about the new Van Halen? I don't. Okay. <laughs> I haven't thought about them in years. All right, yeah. I haven't thought about them since Diamond Dave left. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you. 
class. About the lyrics, um, on, on what kind of uh, situations do you, do you like take memos sometimes or just? Um, yeah, sometimes. I mean, it's all sort of journal, mm -hmm. personal sort of standpoint on everything I write. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just um, because Japanese um, audience go through lyrics a lot, and mm -hmm. yeah, I think um, everybody that's at the place tonight, they must know like most songs that mm -hmm. you're gonna be, you, they're gonna be singing along all night. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. You know, um, a lot of people, you know, learn different languages through mm -hmm. music. You know, and uh, uh, that's great. Yeah, it just shows you how much like um, how universal music can be, yeah. opposed to you know. Um, math or something. You know? <laughs> How's it in the States right now that with a scene and um, what kind of direction you think the scene's heading towards and what's Who your cares? Position? We're here. Fuck the United States. <laughs> the only scene we care about is Nimrod taking over the world. All right. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You know we don't an really ob know. scene. Yeah. Yeah. So you just do your thing and Yeah, you know, we're not we're not really concerned about any subculture or yeah. any, you know, radio culture or anything. I don't even listen to the radio unless I'm listening to like a college it's, radio. It's hard for me to, to to listen to mainstream radio when everybody calls himself alternative, I, I find it hard to to take anything seriously that isn't punk rock, right. you know. Um, and when people, t you know, like uh, you know, calling themselves like alternative rock or you know, like Bush mm -hmm. or Smashing Pumpkins or something mm -hmm. like that, I think uh, um, to be deep deeply rooted into any kind of alternative, it has to be punk rock because nothing else exists outside of that, mm -hmm. as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. And I think you guys did. Um um, maybe you guys didn't really mean to do anything, but I mean, um, that you guys um, appeared in the scene was a really big meaning for the scene to like get the punk 
Rock, yeah, there was a lot of other lot, bands yeah. that sounded like us that were around. Yeah, but I mean, and now there's us. <laughs> yeah, but still, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, there's a, there, yeah, there's a lot of other bands. I don't since since you know since Dookie got big or whatever, you know, we're we're on our third really good record since then. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't like to think that I don't like to limit myself, mm -hmm. you know, in thinking that we're, you know, we're we're stuck in 1994 or 93, you know, we we're concerned about writing good tunes right. before we put any sort of punk rock you know, facade in front of ourselves or anything, or punk rock lifestyle, you know, that's inside of us. What comes out of us is music that's been filtered through us. Yeah. Listening to new music. Yeah. What I thought was like the best thing about... Well, but uh, listening to Nimrod, I thought the best thing about you guys is just, uh, you guys just write good music, good songs, and there's no limit, um, no rule to really the way you do it, you put some strings in if you hear it. Well, and, yeah. that's, and, I mean, what's more punk rock right. than putting strings on a punk rock record? <laughs> right, you know? yeah, exactly. something to say maybe to the people that didn't make it tonight here um, um, you had your chance and you wet your pants <laughs> see you next time we're coming back we'll be so, back all right, all right. we'll be back and yeah mm -hmm. thanks for thanks for picking up the record music. and everything uh, yeah. we worked hard on it for you and damn it it's yours okay thank you so much for taking your time uh -huh. and um, thank okay. you my man thanks hot dog yeah. macaroni で、今週の新着ビデオなんですけれども、スタビングエストワード、こちら。